I'm going to introduce Dr. Nancy Rappaport, who is an associate professor of psychiatry at Harvard Medical School, also a consultant to psychiatry department at the Cambridge Health Alliance. Quite impressive. She's wonderful. And um, we're just so thrilled to have you here today, Nancy. So here is Dr. Nancy Rappaport. Good morning. We are going to be talking about strengthening our resilience in an uncertain time. Practical strategies and inspiration for you and your family. Okay, so this is my, um, this is me giving my heart to your house. And this is my house here. This is my virtual bear hug to you guys because we are going through a roller coaster. Some days are better than other days. Right now we commute in Corona times from our bedroom to our bathroom, to our cluttered drawer, to our computer, to our mailbox, to our toilet, to our kitchen, to our coffee maker. And who would have thought this was how we were gonna be spending May. And I liked when March said about what day is it? And she reminded you guys that it was May 15th on Friday. This is from a Twitter where <laughs> uh, a weatherman was posting a large sign saying, you're not the only one asking what day it is. And I'm going with Friday because that's what March told us. Throughout today, I'm gonna to have some interactive moments where I'm gonna ask you to um, use your chat box. This is gonna be a physical um, activity. Um, I'm first, and I now realize you all know where the chat box is, but I wanted to get the code of the MPY code uh, the first two digits out of the way. So I'm just gonna take one second to ask you to put in a small letter S and then a capital L. And now I can't see people doing that, but um, Marge, are you seeing them fly? Yes. Uh, someone asked, where do you do this? You do it in the chat box. You put in those initials and now lots of people are doing that. Once I see that being finished, I'm gonna take us through a breathing exercise. And just a reminder that we will have a couple other interactive moments, but I wanted to get those, uh, those letters out of the way. And I just wanna be clear, people need to put these letters on their forms if they want PDPs and CEUs. I mean, it's great that you're all putting them in the chat box right now, but that isn't gonna get- I'm sorry, is that what we get to see, you know, see- I'm sorry, I thought it was supposed to go in the chat box. No, no oh. that's okay. That's okay. Um, Never mind, you guys, just SL on your sheet. We're gonna get there. I and just a quick question, I'll only answer this once because I don't wanna interfere with Nancy's presentation, but the letters are for the CEU and PDP forms for accountability purposes. And from here on in, any questions about this, wait for the, the screen to come up afterward or go on the MPY website, okay? okay. Thanks. And Nancy is only gonna give you these two now, four will come at the end, so don't keep saying, Gee, I missed the third, I missed the fourth, you'll get it at the end. Okay, okay, Great. bye. So I don't know about you all, but I heard Marge had a nail in her wheel and had to go outside to take care of it. I am uh, getting through this technological challenge, but I thought if we could just take a moment now in our interactive moment and get grounded for a, um, a whirlwind tour on what I think are very important elements of resilience. So I'm gonna ask you to take your hands, put them underneath your belly and um, just, we're gonna take three breaths, just to ground us, to get us ready for um, two hours of learning. And so taking a breath, inhale. Now we exhale. Now we inhale. Now we exhale. Now we inhale. Now we exhale. Yay, okay. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna talk to you for about 45 minutes. And during that time, I'm gonna share with you 
thoughts that I have about resilience. I want to give you a little bit of my background. I know Marge introduced me, but I'm a child psychiatrist who has worked for 23 years in public schools. I have worked on safety assessments, which are assessments on kids and trying to figure out whether they are um, safe to be in school and how we can improve their functioning in school. I've also worked for 20 years in a school-based health center, and I run the Harvard Medical School Mental Health Conference, in, uh, which is now going to be in January 2021, and I'm the author of a book called The Behavior Code. And <clears throat> I'm so thankful that MPY asked me to put these thoughts together. So uh, the first aspect that I want to talk about is, you know, what do I think of? What's, what's my go-to title for resilience? And what I'd say is uh, resilience is the ability to function in adversity. And what a better time to think about that than during a pandemic when school's been called off for till at least to September. And oftentimes when I'm uh, we, we're, we're learning to hunt for the good stuff and be agents of joy. And our kids are learning to live with disappointment and make a meaningful narrative. And we're discerning what's helping and what's harming in, um, in how we approach protecting our kids and helping them. And learning to hunt for the joy right now can be challenging. There's a tremendous amount of negative information, confusion, repetition, and uh, really encouraging, I'm really encouraging us to hunt for what's, what's good. And I'm sure some of you are familiar, but if you're not, I'd really encourage you to check out uh, Some Good News, which is a deliberate, it's a YouTube video, which is a deliberate effort to try to, um, to do that. Uh, hold on. So we'll discuss how to maintain social and professional um, connections in a physically distant world, strike a healthy balance between structure and improvisation when it comes to routine, schooling, and media, <laughs> good luck, and engage your family in contributory activities that enrich the lives of others. and validate our children's questions and worries, especially when they're facing emotions and um, showing emotions in challenging ways and cultivating productive coping strategies and managing counterproductive strategies and um, supporting students with a history of trauma and challenging behavior. And um, that's really been my specialty is thinking about uh, those of our children, our students who are vulnerable. <clears throat> 